Hey there folks, I recently found a trove of unedited videos <laughs> from like the past one or two years and I decided I'm going to go ahead and try to get those edited and out to you. So on this particular episode of what I guess I'll call the Lost Files, I went out to Maryland's eastern shore, heading out there for some pickerel fishing. This was actually back in January, I think it was January 1st of 2023, so about a year ago almost, a little more than a year. But God, was it beautiful. This was back in like 50, 60 degree air temps and flat calm instead of the freezing cold and wind we have right now. So I'm gonna show you some beautiful scenery, pass along some tips. Hello? You have great timing. I'm not recording audio or anything, Victoria. My bad, my bro. Uh-huh, I'll be down in a minute. Okay, bring the phone, bring the phone. Yeah, we'll see. Love you, bye. Bye-bye. Alexa, Alexa, end call. As always, find links to all the gear and everything like that in the video description. Let's get to the fishing. Oh, fish on, fish on. There we go. There we go. Heck yeah. All right, what we got, what we got? Oh, it's a nice bass. Not what we're here for though. Not what we're here for. He crushed it though. Man, he crushed it. Take us in reverse. They're going to get further into this hole. It's where there's one, there's probably more. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. There you are. Hey, bro. Yep. Negative. That Z Man spinnerbait. There's the lure, folks. I'll get you the exact name, put it on the screen here. And there is the bass. Look at that black spot on the tail. It's a nice fish. Probably about, I don't know, two and a half pounds and 16 inches or so. Let's see. Let us see. Come on. Come on. Close it up. Close that mouth. There you go. 17 and a half. Make sure we stay clear of the gills and get only the gill plate. Okay. And she'll come in at. 2.16. Nope, 2.2. Nice. First cast with artificials, folks, and we are on the board. This is a solid fish. About 17 and a half inches. And about two and a half pounds. About 2.2 pounds. There we go. Thanks, buddy. Yep, she's off strong. All right. Let's see who else might be over here. Ooh, that was a hit. That was definitely a hit. I just think whatever it was hit blades. Just saw a fish rise way out in the middle. Makes me wonder what it was. It was probably a golden shiner or something like that, maybe a shad, but either way. Whatever the bait is, I should be paying attention to that. Might need to go out to the middle. I'm not really getting anything on shore yet. Decent fish. It's a pickerel. It's a pickerel. Not an upgrade though. Definitely not an upgrade. But I'm lucky. I got him with. Oh, geez, Louise. I got him with that jig hook right in the corner of the mouth, which is pretty much the best you can hope for when you're fishing pickerel with anything but a circle. Right here. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Be nice. <laughs> Just be nice for a second, you jerk. <laughs> Now this pickerel right here, she came as I was trailing a minnow under a jig head behind me. Probably about 40 feet behind me and a little bit farther offshore than where I'm casting. So, come here. Now one quick note since I'm making a video coming up soon about lip grippers. If you can handle it, I recommend just using an under the gill plate grip right here. Because lip grippers with their jaws can oftentimes break them. So help take care of the fish out there folks. Let's get her back in the water. 
and away she goes. All right, so that fish jacked up my gear here a little bit. Not irretrievably though, I can get this out. But what I wanna do is talk to you about one point I always like to emphasize when I'm pickerel fishing. Let's get this tangle out. Now, I caught that fish on the bottom jig head. That's another good note. And you wanna check right below, right above that hook to make sure there's no fraying of the line. And I don't see any, so that's great. That's literally about how far I had it down too. I was not running that deep at all. Because this pond is not deep at all. <laughs> GoPro, stop recording. Oh, what the heck? That was definitely a fish. And he stole my minnow. Son of a gun. All right. All right, you rascal. There it goes. There it goes. Fish on. Fish on. Hey, bro. That's two pickerel on minnows now, man. You want to get some? <laughs> Rashawn is dedicated over there. And there she is. <laughs> Leave those turtles alone, man. That's not what we're here for. That's about like a 16 inches or so. You say hit on top water? <laughs> yeah, everything is out chewing right now, folks. Beautiful day. God, is it beautiful out here? All right. Get back to fishing over here now. Oh. oh, that was a hit all day. There you are. There you are. Told you I've been seeing fish feeding over here, folks. Been seeing them feed left and right. Little pick. Come here, little pick. Come here. There you are. And we'll get you off of here. You can go back to terrorizing the water. Now, one of the great things about this Z-Man plastic is this Elastec is just how incredibly stretchy, durable, elastic it is. I hate to say elastic, it's called Elastec, but I can see a few cuts in here from the pickerel, but God, for fishing a toothy critter like pickerel, this lure can be a godsend, because it'll last forever. Fish on. Fish on. Let's see who we have. I'm guessing the pickerel. It's just flat here is loaded with them. Yup, there she is. Just a little fella. That circle hook is doing its job though. There she is, look at that circle hook, right in the corner of the mouth, or top of the mouth, rather. Come here. Give me the hook. There you go. There you are. There you go. Hmm, that was a hit. I mean, I just picked up one pickerel on the spinnerbait, but I've caught more on the minnows. Man, I wasn't planning on going that shallow, but I just saw a fish rise way up in there. Because if the bait fish go in there, those pickerel will go in there after them. I can tell you that. Oh, wow, look over there. Bait fish scattering. What in the world? Well, folks, I think I just screwed the pooch with that last, oh, let me rephrase. <laughs> I think I messed up just now because I, oh, I just caught a 20 incher and you can kind of tell because you can see I have my board here laid out uh, the only good news is that I got 
the fish with a picture on the board before she got away. What I should have done is I was trying to put her back in the water to give her some air. What I should have done is just put her in the net and done it that way, but I tried to hold her with my hand and that was a bad call. But at least I got the CCA pick. Whoa, I heard that. Where was it? Up behind me. Bait is getting chased, folks. I mean, bait is getting chased. Just caught another fish off camera. Man. Come on, let's get a fish on camera. <laughs> I swear to God, man. Every time I turn the camera off, that's when I'm getting the action. Or when I turn the camera off and I think I have it on. Quite frustrating. Look at all that movement. You see all that bait? That's a lot of bait, folks. Oh, that was a nibble. There he is. Ooh. You jacked me all up. There you go, bro. Get it. Get him in now. It's a bass. Bass master. What's up, turtle? There's a fish. There we go. Pickerel. <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> hey, that one came out in the middle off the spinner bait, dude. Yo. You seen any more action up there? Yeah, there's more. I, I got. I'm trying. To, I just. I just got my stuff in the water. I didn't have no lip grippers or nothing. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're all over this flat. Uh, the flat that I told you that, that was really good for me last time, that flat? The one we was with me, we were catching on top. Yup, that's the one. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. I'm I might get one more, but yeah, there's a bunch of them all over the place. Gotcha, bro. All right, man. I was having my camera for that double up. It was sick. I, that's what I was thinking. I was like, you ain't filming. Yeah, no, I'm trying to get, I need to get three, but it was, it was nice. Oh, I just flipped one away. Oh, shit. All right. All right, bro, get him. Yeah, you want to head over here, man. There's a lot of space. There's a lot of them over here. Yeah, I'm going to head that. probably all live in here. I'm going to head that way and not be hard-headed. Right. Okay, I'll see you, man. Right. Yep. Yup. Oh, got him. Fish on. Oh, stay on there. Stay on there, you little rascal. Oh, he came off. <laughs> yeah, that's what I get. I wasn't paying too close attention. Didn't get a good hook set on him. Get it, bro. Rashawn got a float down. There you go. All right, let's go over to Rashawn. Let's go. No! No! <laughs> bro! I don't know, bro. I've gotten follows with no strikes too. I'm I'm curious if it's bass or uh, pickerel, but I mean, both of them are known to follow stuff, especially pickerel, though. Bye, bye, Bambi. Oh, yeah. Get it, bro. Oh. Oh, what a cast. Oh, I should have got nailed. Oh, how did you miss that? <laughs> I'm really in a straight line, you clown. That was a big fish, too. Come on now. Come on. Second shot. Let's go. Idiot. Oh, come on. Bro, these fish. Okay, that's a fish. That's a fish. Okay. That's what I said. 
<laughs> oh, there he goes. Early release. Small pick. That's why I couldn't tell for the longest time if I had a fish or not. I kept seeing the bobber move, but it wasn't going all the way down, you know? Oh, float down again. Again. There she is. Hey, you might want to come over here, bro. That's two float drops back to back. No, oh, I gave you all the big ones on purpose. <laughs> Come here, you little rascal. Come here. There you are. Come here, come here, come here, come here. I got you. Well, folks, if that ends up being my last fish, it's been a fun day. Go on now. All right, so, right out here. Back-to-back -back float drops, just right in this area right here, probably about 30 feet off me. I think we're almost out of time, honestly. I mean, I don't know, like maybe pickerel do bite at night, but I've never really got them that way. Oh, Jesus. Okay. All right. One more fish, folks. One more fish. Feels decent, too. Let me take my time. Let me take my time. You gonna turn me in a circle or what, fella? What are you doing here? Yeah, that's your plan? Okay. Ah. Not bad. Not big, but not bad. There she is. A little chunker. Hey, hey, hey. Yup. Come here. Hi, hey, 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 hey. Cut it out. You rascal. All right. About to get off the water, folks, but one more for the road right here. Little beauty. Probably another 18, 19, oh, 19 inch or so. <laughs> God, they're a handful. But there she is. Thanks, buddy. There you go. As you can see, we are losing daylight. The sun is down behind the horizon. We're on borrowed time. It's getting chilly, but thank God for this kind of weather, this kind of time of year right here. You can't beat this. Flat calm, darn near 60 degrees on January 1st. But let's recap. Best producing technique throughout the day was no doubt the live minnow. The, the live minnow wasn't the only thing we caught on, but it's what we caught most of our fish on. Aside from that, it was definitely that Z-Man spinnerbait. I'm still spooking fish. As I'm paddling or pedaling right here, I'm still spooking fish. But that goes to show you folks, you hit these kind of warm spells even during the winter. And you can have those kind of mid 50 type days. String a few of those together and you'll get these fish moving with a quickness. But thanks for joining us on the water. Any questions, let me know. If you enjoyed it, like, share, and subscribe. And have a good one.